Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer of Extreme here. Here we are on Al Missouri and this is gonna be a brand new challenge we're gonna be doing. This is a Rags to Riches challenge where we're starting off with literally zero money I see on the top right corner of the screen. But every decision we make is determined by a wheel spin. So this is a random wheel spin. I'll go over that in a sec. I'll show you the wheel I'm using and the kind of options we're using at the moment. But also with the wheel nets, it's things like contracts that do do contracts, yes or no. Obviously at the moment the contracts is going to be a yes because we've got no other means of getting income. So there'll be a wheel of the type of contracts we can do. And pretty much for now we're going to try to expand and yeah, become a, what's say a millionaire, we'll become a multi-millionaire in that. So in terms of the end goal in that, I would say if we get to around 10 million or 100 mil, That'd be a good angle for us, but anyway, so before we get any further ahead, let's go over the wheels and yeah, I'm gonna talk over like what the wheel spins are and yeah, just go from there. That so for our first wheel we got the wheel of crop type, so when we get a field in that, that'll be turned by its own wheel spin. This will be determined on what crops we plant into the ground. So we've got all the crops and that, including olives and grapes that so that may be a bit of an issue if we draw those. But for example, we've got soybeans, so that'll be me, we'll be planting soybeans. Moving on to our next, we've got the wheel of contracts, will be adjusted in each episode, depending on which number of contracts are available in that. So, we've got all the possibilities in that. And if we get a harvesting contract, we've got the wheel to sell or not sell, so that means we'll either sell or keep all the crops in that, in terms of the bonuses. For animals, if you want animals, that'll be turned by its own wheel in that, so... Cows, horses, pigs, and chicken. And yeah, there are plenty, of, plenty of more hills I'll be adding as we go along. Not that one, that was a little oopsie there. But yeah, seeding or planting. Do we drill or seed that? So that'd be equipment in terms of purchasing. Field prep, so this would be the equipment we purchase for when we want to, you know, prepare our field and that. So we've got your plow, subsoiders, spaders, and all that. So that could be interesting. Moving on to our chopping wheel, so this will be chainsaw, axe, and handsaw. So when we do login, this will be the type of equipment we'll be using. Of course, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, but I'll uh, be a nice addition. And then lastly, economy wheel, so it's many or normal, but also got easy and hard. So this is the in game economy setting, so that will be an interesting one to do. And yeah, so overall, the contracts and that. I will be adjusting that again, as I said, depending on what contracts are available in each episode. And more, uh, yep, more wheels will be added on as we go along. For example, the wheel of field number, so that will be determined of the number of fields we purchase, or what field we purchase in that. So yeah, that is, the wheel's gone over now, so yeah, all the different wheels we could do, etc. in that. But obviously we need to do contracts first of all, so at the moment we've got bathing, fertilizing, Harvesting, ploughing, and a seeding contract. And yeah, so we're going to do a couple of wheel spins, and I'll pick two or three contracts we can do now, two categories we could do. So, yeah, it could be either a case of could be fertilizing, do all the fertilizing contracts, or the bane contract, which I would love to do because, yeah, that would be a nice one to do in that. Yes, 42 grand, there's going to be a lot of work involved. As well, things like harvesting as well. But obviously, as we go down the road now, in terms of the wheel spins and that, I want to get our own equipment. And yes, I want to create a homestead farm and that. So I've got a couple of ideas for a farm. So I'm thinking if we get like plot 36, 35, and 34. However, well, that ain't guaranteed because to purchase a field, well, we need to do a wheel spin on that at the moment. We got nothing at the moment, but yeah, I think, you know what, let's spin a wheel right now to figure out which is going to be our first wheel to go for, because if it's going to be things like 22 and that, we're going to need to earn 900 grand. But if we could go with something like small fields like these and that, 131 grand, then yeah, that could get done in a couple of contracts. So let's spin the wheel off doing what two contract types we're doing. 
and then figure out what fields we are purchasing. So for our first wheel spin, it's a wheel of contracts, so we can select two contracts to do. And the first set of contracts we're going to be doing is the plan contracts. And the second set of contracts we're going to be doing is fertilizing, so not bathing, but it is what it is. But now for the wheel of fields, so it's going to be the wheel number spiel of fields and that, so this is between 1 and 42 I think it is. And yeah, so that is field 3. So right, the wheels have been spun and they have determined we're going to be doing all the fertilizing contracts along with all of the plowing contracts. So if we have a look here, currently we're doing fertilizing contracts on 8, 20 and 28. And for the plowing, we've got two at the moment, so again with these we're going to be borrowing equipment as well. Because yeah, at the moment we can't, obviously we've got no money now, so we can't have our equipment. But, I want to get our own equipment, so things like our own tractors, plows, cedars, baders, fertilizers and all that. I want to get all of those. But still, will be determined by the wheel spin, so... With things like, for example, I haven't included it in the wheel yet. Again, this is a ongoing thing, and feel free to give me some feedback on what you want to see, but I'm thinking... When it comes to our equipment and that, so things like tractors, do you go small, medium, or large? How do you determine that? Wheel spin. Same with the implements and that, so things like the plows and subsoilers. And also I've included the spaders and that, so I do have some, yeah, a lot of mods enabled and downloaded. Because I'm going to need all the help I can, because if I get a bad wheel spin, for example, a spader. Like these ones here, these are okay in that, but could imagine, you know, plan the field, 4 miles an hour at 3 meters, and let's say the contract is, I don't know, field 22. That would take me hours to do, but it's going to be one of the things I will be doing it. If I can afford the money to get equipment, then yes, I will. So, but yeah, go on to the PDA. So you've got 20, 28, and field 8 we're going to do. I'm going to head out of here. So yeah, I think we're going to head up the road, turn right. And then, yeah, head down to field 20. But yeah, so it's going to be one episode per month. And yeah, again, I'm not sure whether I should do contracts for the entire month period or... Do we skip ahead in that? So, I do navigate that poorly in that. But thankfully we do have a tractor net. This is obviously borrowing that from the farmer and that we're using. And we do have a full load of fertilizer, of course. I have no idea how much it's gonna use in that, so I think if we need to, you know, buy more fertilizer then that's gonna become a factor of you know, do we get a loan in that? But the aim's gonna be no loans, leasing either kept to a minimum or none at all. Again, this is a totally new concept I'm doing and yeah, I've seen people do this in different ways in the past and that. Oh yeah, I think I've gone the wrong way. I should have gone up north and that then. Yeah, gone up north. Cut across 11 and 12 and that, down the lane that way. But you know what, we're making our own way through there so I'm going to meet you when we're at full 20 and then yeah, we'll get this contract underway. So right, we're on to the field, and yeah, so since we've got no money, I can't hire workers and that, so again, that's going to be another thing holding us back and that, because again, if we get more money, we get more equipment, and yeah, let's say if, if we do contracts, I can at least equipment for one contract, for example, fertilizing, and then I can get our own tractor and plow and that, and yeah, just do the plan contracts and that, but... Unfortunately, that is not the case here and that, so... But yeah, so this is going to be... In terms of, you know, the frequency of these episodes and that, this first episode is going to be a bit more of a dialogue now, in terms of explaining of how things are going to work and that, so... Things like one episode per month and that, I think is a good idea. And I'm thinking, do we just do all of the contracts and that? But no, because if we do all the contracts, then what is the purpose of the wheel and that, so... For example, we've got like four or five contracts in that, so yeah, having that will to determine, let's say, what two or three contracts we do. So yeah, that sort of eliminates the idea of, you know, 
picking favourites and that. But again, feel free to leave some feedback in that. But yeah, I do have some ideas of equipment we can you know, start off with. So, because yeah, we've got field three, we've got two, or well, I'll take this field two, but it's plot three. And yeah, I can't remember if I've already shown that because I had to record some bits already. But yeah, 44 grand for our first field in that. Again, like, if you get that field, 44 grand, yes. But we're going to need to lease equipment in that. I think things like that, leasing equipment to do our own fields in that. I think we can have sort of free reign, free reign on what we do decide to, you know, lease with in that. But when it comes to purchasing stuff, then yeah. I think the wheel will be used for buying stuff, but for borrowing stuff, for contracts, or for our own field work, then yeah, I think that is fair, and I'll keep it to a minimum that, so no, you know, long-term lease in that, because yeah, I can lease stuff long-term, and it'd be worth a lot more long-term that compared to, you know, buying something for 12 months, 12, 24 months. But yes, well, the problem with not having a worker is, I know I'm going to be overlapping a lot with this, so... Where are we to? Field 20? Yeah, I'm already overlapping in that. Thankfully, we do have a fair bit of fertilizer here to use now. So yeah, we'll get 20 done. Number 28. And then field 8, so yeah. Let me get these done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. And there we go, a short while later, what's that about, what, we started at about 18 minutes past 9, so less than 20 minutes. First two contracts are done, and also we do get a nice reimbursement bonus for the fertilizer for some reason, so you know what, I am not going to complain. So yeah, now we're left with the bathing and harvesting contracts, so that's so went for whatever reason. So yeah. Now, on to the plowing contract. So, we got the Valtra T15 here, and to be fair, like this kind of challenge has yielded some unexpected things. I sort of, this sort of semi expected, and things like it's using equipment I don't use often, and also it's things like the type of equipment. Like, because yeah, at the moment we got, ooh, yeah, that's, a, that's a heavy plow, so we need to put that weight on first. But yeah, again, it's things like this and that, you know. Not using, you know, the normal plows you use in that, like... Because, yeah, if you look at our equipment and that, if we go to our plows and that... Oh yeah, of course I got our 6 metre and that, subsoil and that. And, you know what, I can use that for, if I get the bigger one, for under a grand. At the moment, I want to maximise the amount of profits we can. And that does mean using equipment that I do typically use in that, so... We'll go to 26, so we can go across the track and that. And then, yeah, 41, which is just up the road there, so... Thankfully, it ain't going to be taking too long to do, but... Also, I don't have to worry about the train now, because the train's just gone past, so... Yes, I know there's a crossing just there. But this is a shorter route, but... Yeah, things like, like these kind of plows and that, I do not use these now, like... Is there a reason I don't use these plows? Of course there is, like... I mean, they, it's down to what somebody called these and this and that. Uh, yeah, again, how do you, like, do I go left or right with this? So I'm thinking you will go anti clockwise with this and that. Right? But yeah, we are ploughing. That's for, for the much as I want to do this. So I'll try to keep it in cabinet, so. If I get myself a line first of all, so. There we go, we're ploughing along. So the hood of the bonnet there, the centre of the bonnet, as long as that aligns with the field now, we're going to be just on the edge. So if we keep the field, you know, just to the right of the bonnet there, like the right side of the bonnet, or the hood, for you Americans and that. Yeah, we are looking good. So, yeah, I think we're going to do a bit more of this, you know, in cabinet. Oh yeah, the reason I do outside cab stuff often is, again, land to content creation, but sometimes, you know, just want to chill out, either watch a bit of an audiobook and that, or, or not watch this to an audiobook, or I typically do that, I watch other like, YouTube co content, or whatever stuff I can watch, well, technically not on TV and that, I like to watch TV programs via the high seas and that, but, 
That's a moment. We're also struggling here a bit now, like very bumpy in that. Am I doing something wrong? Because yeah, I mean, I got cruise control on. I think the plows might be on the other side because. And also, I'm not doing it in a straight line, hence why you see, you know, the, you know, the treads and that, you know, the plow lines and that. So we're meant to go in, like, that way along the fields, and I think I'm doing something wrong here and that, because... Yeah, you know what, let's just raise the plow and that. And do I flip it? Maybe that's better than that. So yeah, if you keep the edge of the plow like so, keep the wheel night into the field, so that could be better than that for us. Yeah, once again, you know, hood the bonnet and that. Ah, there we go. I think I'm doing it properly now. But yeah, we still have problems with this field and that, so... Five grand, or until what, is it ten grand we're getting? Ten thousand two hundred for this, so... Is it too late, you know, switch implements now and, you know, get the cheap one there for at least for a grand? Because, yeah, we are absolutely struggling here. Like, I'm, I'm wheel spinning here, like. Okay, so what, let's try to do it diagonally in that, so. Let's do that. And do I raise or lower the weight in that? Man, this is going to take forever to do that. But yeah, you know what? I'm not going to cheat in that. No cheating here in that, even though I am tempted to hire a worker in that. I'll say I'll do anything else, but I don't have the other equipment on lease in that, so... Yeah, it looks like we're sucking doing this in that, so you know what? Let's get this plan done. And yeah, feel free to roast me in the comments for this in that, because I do not know what I'm doing. I will admit to that, like, am I doing something wrong? Was it just because the equipment and the implements I'm using in that? Because surely we should be doing this at 3 bloody miles an hour in that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm doing something wrong here, but honestly I don't know, so, yep. Let's continue on with this, and yeah, it's 20 pa or 22 10 now. Nope, that's the front. Yeah, we'll try my little cheeky tactic of raising and the implement whenever we get stuck in that, but yeah, as I was saying, 20 to 10, let's do a little short time lapse in that, but yeah, so in this time lapse, it's going to be literally getting 26 and possibly 41 done in that, maybe do 41 off camera depending on how long this takes, but yeah, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go. We are 
done, and for some reason, it's not letting us do the last bit of this contract and that. Even though technically the contract's completed, I thought, you know, get the whole thing done and that, and yeah, so... That took us, what, an hour or two? 10.40 or was it 9.40? Sorry, I think it was 10.40 or so. Or 9.40, whoever it was. I should know 9.40, but yeah, took us a while to do, and yeah. The mistakes I made with that first field, I did rect rectify on this. It does help when the fields are a bit more square shaped than that, so... But yeah, simply what you do is, you sort of like something like this. Get your plow lines down. And then when you get to the edge, you simply turn around. Line it up to where you just plowed, turn it, and then, yeah, go again. So, yeah. Fortunately, couldn't complete the contract there, so... And dang it, two of the harvesting contracts have gone. And they're the bigger wheat and oat ones, I think they were, so... Overall, I am happy now. That leaves us with 33 grand, so... Yeah, next, so, I think next episode now, either... Yeah, I think we'll go into, you know, September and that. Do the con... Do, uh, sorry, do the will for the contracts and that, and... Yeah, I really hope we can get that Bain contract, that is a lot of money. Yeah, four grand in leasing, fair enough. Not the biggest Bader and that. Mowers and that, okay and that. Not my more ideal setup, I'd rather use something like this. Or technically, we could... Be a bit cheeky and do both, at least both equipment and that. And then, yeah, get both the fields done and that. You just set one off with the worker and that on 38, for example, and then use like, the Chrome Big M as a way to do field 40, especially with a bit of fast farming technique and that. Yeah, that is silage. Only 40 was silage now. 40. We have a look at the PDA in sex. I don't see. Where exactly is field 40 in that? So, 3840, so that's this one here by the, potentially one of the farms we're going to be purchasing in that. Obviously, that's his own plot of land. But yeah, so now we need to save up enough money to get our first plot of land. And actually, let's have a little look over here, shall we? So, yeah, let me just walk over. And yeah, we'll see how the field we're going to be potentially purchasing in the next episode. So right, here is our first field we're going to be potentially buying, and... Funny enough, it is a cornfield, so... What we can do with that is, you know, chaff in that. Get a bit of silage in that, however, we do need a bunker side for that, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what we've got available in that, so... Because again, I know I've installed plenty of mods in that. Ah, wait a minute. How much would it be for a certain production? There we go. Yeah, that would take chaff in that, get silage in that. So, that, that means an extra 10 grand and potentially deforming the land quite a bit. So, so yeah, where's that land border in that? So, if we have a look. Actually, it goes to here, to the road, and also to a cross road and that, so this pathway, technically, that would be ours, so... But again, things like forest harvesters aren't cheap in that, and even some of the modern ones I've got, we're looking at 60 grand. Because, yeah, that's 410 horsepower, so it's going to be 4.5 meter, or do we go a bit bigger than that? Double the money in that. But to be fair, it's not going to be a big fill in that, so I'm thinking 60 grand. Obviously, we can lease it. Again, do we lease that? Let me know what you think about it. Do we have to buy the equipment or lease it? Or do we take it as a case by case thing? Because corn, no, taking us right to chaff now, I think. But yeah, if we go to our crop candor and look at the corn. Yeah, October and that, so unless we get some big contracts underway in that. And to be fair, I'm not sure, should we even do these contracts and that, you know, just do all the contracts in one go? Nah, I think, yeah, I'll still stick to the wheel of contracts and that, so this will determine what contracts we do. And for example, this one here, if it stays the same for September and that, we'll have to spend bathing or harvesting, and yeah, it's going to be a simple case of do we do 
bathing or harvesting and I really hope we get that bathing contract because that's going to get us a lot of money especially with some cell points we got on the map and that yeah I think we're going to make a lot of money also we need a way to get around because yeah I took a while to get around and to be fair we could do with a little bit of transport on that so got the TX off and that quad bike for 13 grand Maybe look at a motorcycle on that, maybe that to purchase as well, but again, that's going to be determined by the wheel on that. So, anyways, that is the first episode of our Rags to Riches here on Allen, Missouri, on Farm Simulator 22. And yeah, again, I encourage the feedback down below on that because I really want this to be a epic series now. I want it to be challenging, but not too grindy as well. That's why the choices of equipment is going to be crucial. I think once we get our fields purchased, or fields, we'll look at, you know, getting a tractor. So we'll spend a wheel for small, medium, or large tractor. So let's see if we get small tractors. Now, again, let's go over, for example, what we can get. If we get a small tractor, and that able to buy? What we can buy is down to us. See, I've got a couple of ideas on that. Got a mower, the hair of small mower. Now it's going to take forever to do. So yeah, something like 6300, 100 horsepower for 20, 15, 20 grand. And again, looking at some of these, go to the bigger engine, we're looking at 29 and a half grand for that. But yeah, we've got so many options available. But even then, an old faithful I use are No Man's Land, the case 46 series four wheel drive. 33,000 for a 150 horsepower engine. And then mowers and that. Turns we'll purchase the mowers. They're going to be a rear wheel, I don't think, to be honest. Again, plenty of mods to help us out. And even do we get something like the John Deere Gator and that. Potentially, yeah, we just get the Gator and that. Mow it. I think we do that, potentially, now. So. I may add that as an option. That do do self-propelled or do do you know something like this. Like requires a three-point linkage, but again, as long as we've got 40 horsepower, that can do it just fine. Or yeah, 15 horsepower for that. That is what 3.1 meters for a 15 horsepower requirement. Yeah, it costs 40 grand. I mean, again, combine that with that. That'd be fucking <laughs> hey. We'll be absolutely laughing on that, but again, so many options to do in that, and I'm loving how this series is going. In terms of episodes in that, I'm going to be focused on this bit more compared to my, uh, what was it, Comps of Far 1 10,000 Cow Challenge, because I think this has got a potential to be a awesome series in that. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed our first episode here, and as always, feel free to smash the button, feel free to go down below. If you want to share this, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for just to do, hope you nice day. But for now, to be farming Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.